it just makes it feel like someone's inner dialogue. Yeah. So if if you said to me at the beginning of this album, like, oh, you're gonna, you know, you'll go through your chain, you'll you'll, you'll EQ, EQ this high end in, and then rolled off with a filter freak, and then for whatever fuck reason, it'll give you that feeling. I'd be like, that sounds stupid. This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. There's a plugin called Morphoder. I'll show you what I do with it, which I really like. So, like, if I have a vocal, say it's this vocal. To hell with the glories of this. 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 And I use that for layers, you know, I'll just make them and print them and say, okay, this one's a C, this one's an A, this one's high, whatever. And just make these, some, something between that and the isotope vocal synth, which is a nice one too, is I just fuck around until I get these weird stacks that sound like this. And they're not very present, but they create a sound behind it all. And I just play with them. It, it's, it's sort of like if, if I have a, a moment in a song where it's like I want, once again, to rip the attention somewhere else or pull it back to the vocal, but I don't want to have a new character. I don't want, you know... Is, is you know just in any way subverting the obvious of well I could just have someone else sing introduce a new voice I, I like to introduce different characters of my own voice um I think is a really satisfying way of doing it so like I'm just totally fucking around in this plugin. But it's a lot of trial and error. You, I mean, you, you just explore these things. Yeah, or like, you know, sometimes I'll just fuck with the form and the vocal. So, for example, like, if I want a different feeling that's not another vocal, I like little Alter Boy. Tell with the glories of this. Tell with the glories of this. This is always nice under a vocal like. Tell with the glories of this. Tell with the glories of this. To hell with the glories of this. To hell with the glories of this. Sometimes it's nice to like play with the time of it. To hell with the glories of this. To hell with the glories of this. To hell with how how totally fucking around, but like anything instead of using another backup to just support myself. Yeah, and how lost can you? <laughs> you could spend uh, I don't days crazy. doing that. Or no, no, no. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not very like big on. Um, I, I I'm I like to move quick. If I'm not hearing it, I'd rather go somewhere else where I can hear it. And then that's why a lot of stuff gets trashed with me. Um, because if 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 I'm really feeling something, then I'll I'll move quickly. Yeah, like building that whole like. And also, as you can see here, I'm kind of riding this like crazy in the automation. If you look what's happening, so it's really coming in and out. And that's the thing I draw on the fly. I'll just listen to the track and I'll say like I'll show you what I do. I'll put it in the mode it's in, and I'll go like this. Be like. You know? I'm, if you look at my sessions, I'm drawing shit like crazy, like anywhere I can. If you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you will love Tape It. It's the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's cloud sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic oh. instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. And there's more. If you upgrade to Tape It Pro, it uses two microphones on your iPhone, along with gentler dynamic compression, to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a huge offer for you. 50% off Tape It Pro if you upgrade now. Just go to the app and use the promo code Tape Notes, or click the link in the description below. And when I got to that point, that's when I was like, oh, I like these lyrics so much, I don't want to deliver them too hard, because I don't want to oversell it. And so that's why this delivery is very A kid I used to babysit himself off a dime square bench. So this whole idea of just like being so 
feeling like the lyric was so spicy and the track was getting so interesting that I wanted to like almost multi-track and just whisper all my parts. It's not something I often do. It's very effective. And it really seems like you're in the mind of that person walking through New York City, having these thoughts, looking at things and being yeah, reminded of it. Yeah, because you wouldn't shout it. And there's yeah. nothing on it. It's like the vocal is like a little bit of compression. Pull the arrow back, start the appeals. I'm not the man. My vocals are all filtered, which is an interesting one too, because it really pulls them back. So, you know, my vocals are completely clean with no filter, which sound like this. Tell them to grease Hold on. the wheels. Pull the arrow back, start the appeal. I'm Much more present, but I have them kind of. Tell them to grease the wheels. Slightly underwater. Pull the arrow back, start the appeal. And I like that. I did that a few times on this album. I did that on me before you too. There's something about it. He's a filter freak, which I like. It just makes it feel like someone's inner dialogue. Yeah. And I think so much about that with vocal treatment. You know, like, for example, if I'm. Tell them to grease the wheels. Pull the arrow back, start the appeal. There's reverb. I'm not the man who sold the world. I'm no longer in your ear. Tell them to grease the wheels. Now it's very personal. Pull the arrow back, now start it's too the personal. appeal. I'm not the man who sold Now it's kind of scary how much of an inner dialogue it is. So there's this the kind of perfect spot the arrow back, start the appeal. Where for me with the filters and whatnot where I feel like, okay, it's in my head, but it's not esoteric. Yeah. Which which plugins are you using to process your vocal set? Uh, that's, so on, on these, I mean, the chain is so nice, you know, that I don't do much. So there's a little EQ. It's funny, the, the EQ and the filter freak are kind of doing opposite things. I'm EQing all this high end and there's very little bit of compression. And then... uh. I like, uh, if I'm going to filter, if I'm going to take off high end of, on my vocal, I like a Soundtrace Filter Freak. It's just, it, I, I know how to play with it in a very specific way that I really enjoy. Um, and I never do it on vocals until this album. But that's always, you know, you always start making an album, thinking about how how's my voice going to sound different? What's going to happen? Where, where are going to be doing all these things? And then you find it in the weirdest places, right? Like, um, like I said, like that, that rolling off a teeny bit, it just, it, it was like, Boom, that's what I was that's what I was hearing in my head. This whole image on this album of it being more like you're sitting in a room with me or living in my head, less like I'm screaming from the heavens, which is a, more how some of the other albums that I make sound. Um and yeah, so if if you said to me at the beginning of this album like, "Oh, you're going to you know, you'll go through your chain, you'll you'll, you'll EQ, EQ this high end in and then rolled off with a filter freak and then for whatever fuck reason it'll give you that feeling." I'd be like, "That sounds stupid." But that's what it is to be in the studio. Ooh. 